all right so what is going on today youtube back again with some more black luster soldier and uh yeah i only made a couple of changes and we're briefly going to just talk about those before we get straight into the duel duels which uh is uh dude, i just took out these two cards because they this card i never really got a chance to summon so i don't know how good it actually is because i never got the chance to summon it but it doesn't seem like you know you have too much of a chance to summon it and since like you need like like it works you can use it for a ritual summon but in trading and stuff like that but like with super soldier origin which is pretty much the best ritual card in the deck you have to send stuff that equal eight and you have to send two monsters at least so this doesn't w really work effect veiler it's cool and all but i don't think it's just it, it's not effect veiler's time in this format now i don't know about the future format but effect veiler right now is not that good and then <clears throat> the two cards are replaced it with which is the two trap cards because I really love this card. This card is amazing. You could uh, pre pretty much set up your graveyard for a uh, Black Luster Soldier Chaos Sorcerer play, which I did as add also <clears throat> just to make the deck 45 because I like playing with 45. It's pretty cool. And, um, you know, whatever to, to minimize the effect of uh, Grass Looks Greener, I mean, that's fine with me. Um, but yeah, you pretty much just what reveal three warrior types, and then you can send um, <clears throat> you can uh, either you can send these two to the grave, you can send envoy, you can select envoy, um, a light, and then the dark, and then you know if you hit one of these, envoy is going to activate at the end phase. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, you, you're going to send them all to the grave, or you're going to add a BLS card to your hand, which is just good. So I really think I really like this trap card. We're definitely going to play with this. I do have a crazy idea to actually play in this deck but <clears throat> it, it requires pretty much it, it's it's crazy that's all i'm going to say so we're going to play with this and then um on friday i will most likely reveal or show you guys what i was thinking about and we can play with that so without further ado let's just get straight into this video <clears throat> the, to the duels but before we get into that we'd like to say if you guys do enjoy this video leave a like leave a comment also subscribe if you have not already <clears throat> I upload a minimum of three videos a week, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday primarily. But, you know, I'm usually uploading every day, but I don't want to say that and then not upload on a certain day. So, yeah, a minimum of three videos a week. So you guys definitely have something to look forward to throughout the week. And also, if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel, which would be very good. And I'll appreciate it very much. So without further ado, let's get into these duels. All right, so here we go, going up against Chandler, and hopefully I got all that out of my throat because it just, I don't know. Wow, this is actually pretty okay. It's an okay hand because what we can do is pre-prep, get, oh, no, this is not good. We're playing against Alistair, and I've pulled four of these. God damn it, but I didn't pull the Invocation, which really sucks, but it's all right. Let's see what he summons his first turn. Doesn't look like he's, I don't think he's going to summon in first turn, but I wouldn't be surprised if he already had the um <clears throat> what do you call it the uh the wonder one but i guess he doesn't and then he's going to rajin okay well that's uh let me see what is this one okay that's the wrong one so <clears throat> we definitely have to get over rajin in the back row so i'm guessing this is not an artifact that is a really good card so what we're going to do because we can search uh we can search anyone we want we're just going to definitely just activate this pre-prep first just to see what we can get into um, at these two free trade and target. And um, nope, don't want to use that. Let's no, nope, not that. Let's just use trade in real quick. And since we have super soldier, we can um, activate Gaia. <clears throat> Actually, we can just summon this right now. And I think that might be the which one do you do? Um, well, let's just activate this. Uh, because there's no reason not to let's get our counters to this um what do we want to summon uh how much defense is that okay so that's that we want to summon both he's going to book it so we're going to get this and we're going to trade in because we can summon um we can summon it from the graveyard matter of fact should we do it right now fuck it let's just trade in let's trade in let's not reveal that we have another black luster soldier Actually, <clears throat> I think I want to trade in this because I actually want this because this has an effect when it destroys something by battle. It does. So I want him to force using, uh, I want to force the Alistair in his hand. What I'm going to do is use Super Soldier Origin, the special summon uh, 
to uh, hopefully we draw a BLS or something. That would just be fucking ridiculous. Um, we're going to use Super Soldier Origin to special summon the normal <clears throat> Black Luster Soldier from our graveyard. And then, um, oh no, I completely messed up, you guys. I completely messed up. Actually, what, what happened? Um, okay, so I messed up. I was supposed to do the Super Soldier. Super Soldier was clearly the right play because this cannot, I'm pretty sure this can't summon this. What are you waiting on, Chandler? Come on, don't quit, man. Don't quit, man. This is not fun, man. I was really trying to do some plays. Be right back. All right, so he finally decides he wants to play, and look what the fuck we drew into the best card in the goddamn game. So here we go, using this, and I think, man, I really forgot to, uh, damn, I really should have, I'm going to just use the Black Lesser Soldier here. Okay, yeah. No, fuck. I messed up again. No, there's no way I can do it. Okay. It's in the beginning night. Boom. All right. And then he's probably going to let this fly. No, he's going to book it. Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. So what we can do here is just bam. Let's do those. Special this BLS. Activate both of these effects. Boom, boom. Right. And then we could search uh, another what? compose why would you compose bls what is wrong with you why would you compose bls uh let's search another super soldier origin because we can't search this card uh and then this is going to get us another black luster soldier now we can actually attack over this if you felt like it um we can't use both of the you can't use okay yeah you can only activate one to return that doesn't do anything uh He's forced to kind of attack over this. We have nothing in our graveyard. So what we're going to do is set terraforming. Actually, uh, what do we... We set this because we don't actually need it. Now, we can summon it. If we really want to, we could summon a... Uh, we could summon um, another Black Lutzer Soldier. But all he's going to do is discard Alistair. And <clears throat> as of right now, he doesn't really have too good of a play that to get over the uh, 2500 Black Lutzer Soldier. And I'm, I don't know if we still keep our effects from um what's the name i don't know if we still keep our effects so as far as i know he can go into another rajin Rideen. you know it's, it's called it invoked rajin i know what i'm talking about and uh that's okay i guess i mean i don't know i really don't know what he can he can't go into elysium because elysium requires an invoked and the monster special summon from the deck and this is just an invoker when did i have a bls in the graveyard i didn't i didn't remember that Okay, well, I completely butt fucked that one because I completely forgot that um, that was even in the graveyard. I checked my graveyard and it I thought it said five spells. It's okay because we're going to get a gateway to the chaos. So we're going to be able to search. Um, we're going to be able to search a spell card. So that's that's real good. Um, hopefully we do draw into a... Uh, actually, it doesn't even matter. That really sucks. Let's just activate this. Then what we can do, we can pre-prep. So I, I think we're going to just get over this regardless. Um, let's add a another. Oh, you bitch. You son of a bitch. That hurts. That's all right with me. Because we're going to use you. And then we're going to search Gaia the Fierce Knight. What does this one do? If normal summon, you can add a. Uh, no, if it's tributed, you can add a Black Luster Soldier from your deck to the hand. Okay, so what we're going to do. Is we're definitely going to add this so we can super soldier. Uh, let's go ahead and um, definitely super soldier right now. Let's use this. We can just send this and then a the one star. We're going to summon the one. This is uh, this is the only one that's going to be a damaging. We're going to send you. And what do you do? I can banish one of these from the graveyard. And then if a monster will be destroyed by body. Okay, I want to send that. Special summon you. Pretty sure he's gonna book. If I'm if I'm if I'm not mistaken, he's gonna book me. Yeah, there you go. There goes the book. Now I don't care about the Raijin. Now what can I steal? Actually, I could just beat over both his monsters. Can I do four thousand to his face? I can do four thousand to his face, and I think that's what's gonna happen here, folks. Bam, bam. I think there was no reason for me literally to send that, and so. I think I want to keep the pre-prep for next turn. Uh, what 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 is a what is really damaging in here? 
Um, okay, he can still go Raijin. That really sucks. Can we... Is there a way we can play around the Raijin too? Oh, we, can, yeah, we can't go Lancelot. I think Lancelot might be the better choice. Um, okay, let's activate this. Let's definitely get rid of the... I. It doesn't really matter. Let's just get rid of this. Then we're going to use this ritual to get rid of... Um, definitely going to just tribute over this. Bam. Um, and then we can attack, but then that won't be good. What we can do is just do this. And hopefully he doesn't have something to pretty much bait what's going on. And uh, I think this is a good play. This, this might be a good play. This really might be a good play. Because I'm trying to play around Eidolon. The Eidolon fusion dude. I'm trying to play around Alistair pretty much. And uh, hopefully we can. And we can only activate. Wait. I think we could have searched. We could have searched last turn. Okay. Well, well, there's nothing really we can do about that, can we? All right, so this is uh this is not gonna end well. Oh my god, and he drawn Ice Bell. Oh no, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's that's really good. That's really good because the only thing he can go into is uh, Crystal Wing now. Crystal Wing is fine. We could have did four thousand, but I don't know what that would have did. Four thousand and then went into. Maybe that's the better play. Maybe maybe I don't know. I I I, I really just think that um. I mean, he he had he had something to be he had just had something to counteract this. I think this was a good play because uh, if he didn't have this, he would have to normal summon Alistair, and then that gets negated. So that's that's is always good. But this is at five, so I don't know really what we can do. Um, and then the fact that he only can summon winds is pretty good, but sadly we don't have like Dark Hole and Regeki and stuff like that. So it's not like we're going to be able to pretty much beat over all of these cards but i believe we can summon twice it depends on what we actually we can't because he's going to get another raijin out and there's just nothing really we can do about this we had to get rid of the Al alistair but there's really nothing we can do about this folks we're going to just go ahead and take this loss on the chin um <clears throat> we're, i mean a chaos sorcerer would be good It'd be really good a real good chaos source. I don't think we can actually come back. We have to top deck another level. We have to top deck another level. What's the name? We'll have to top deck another fucking. What do you call them? One of the level fours. We just have to top deck one of those. And I think that's the only way we really get out of this because we don't play Regeki or anything like that. Trading is actually pretty good. Let's just go ahead and use you. Let's add the last one and then from the graveyard to the hand. Let's use. Do we even have another one? Oh, we do. We do have one more super soldier synthesis still in the deck. I mean, super soldier, super soldier origin. Okay, so we do this. Damn it. That sucks. Well, looks like we lose, folks. It's not. Actually, I think we stay alive. Um, do we? Yeah, I, I guess this is <laughs> we we can stay alive. I guess. Um, we can go another Super Soldier Origin. Sadly, we've used the Karibo, which we probably shouldn't have used. Probably shouldn't have used the Karib this one because this can protect from battle. Uh, let's summon this, and then send these two. Oh man, this doesn't do anything. He has another Alistair. That's fine. That's fine, young man. So I know what we need. We need we need some dark holes and we need some regekis to put in there. Because this is just not we can't get over we can't get over any established boards. That's that's the problem. We have to rely on our BLS. And uh, most of the time BLS is just not gonna Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck it. Let's just use this. I don't even know what we can get. Oh, we can get Envoy. Guess you. Um, No, we can't. We can't get anything, huh? Nope. I don't think we can get anything, folks. Yeah, there's nothing really we can do. We need some uh, heavy destruction. All right. So that was it. Um, It was a pretty back and forth duel, but we cannot get over established boards. 
Uh, and I mean, I don't think, I don't think anything we can, I don't think we was going to be able to even, I don't know what else we could have did. All right. So what I did was take out a terraforming and a, um, a, what's the name? A terraforming and a gateway of chaos to put in a, to put in the young man known as, uh, what is his name? What the fuck? Storming mirror force, because I love that fucking card. All right. So it looks like we could, we can do a lot with this hand, depending on what we draw. It all depends on what we draw. Hopefully, we're not playing Infernoids. That, unfortunately, is not a good hand. Uh, we could do, do you. Can I normal summon this without tributing? Okay, well, we can do that. I guess we can do that. That that does something. Let's go ahead and special you. And then we could just normal summon this without tributing. Um, and then, it doesn't really do anything. We still need to get to a BLS monster which uh doesn't work we do have uh we do have level seven uh which is the you know big eye or flare metal um but i don't know which one we should use should we even do anything like that i think we should just attack fuck it let's attack don't need to use that because we do have en envoy of chaos we could definitely just attack okay we don't even why would you even set that that just doesn't make any sense we can definitely just push through some, some, for a lot of damage. Or Jace is the Dragon Souls. Okay, don't understand. Um, yes, I do want to continue my battle. He's gonna give me two. He just gave me two counters for no reason. That was that was pretty stupid, player. Uh, let's just activate Rota, and we're gonna search another Envoy. That's what we're gonna do because this card is so good. I'm probably gonna bump it up to three because this is pretty much. Um, your OTK ability one, one, one of these with a ritual you're, you're good and we do play Regeki which I when I went to go add the other card I, I found out and we do play Regeki so ritual nope still not a ritual okay well just normal summon you without tribute because that's pretty good to do um, alright here we go we're going to attack with another 19 but this is an extra 3,000 on top of 40, on top of already, what, 40, 42? That's 70, 200 points of damage I can do. What are you, oh, this case is Galaxy Eyes deck. So, okay. Guess he's just protecting face. But we do have this Sphere, Sphere Karibo, so we can definitely stop an attack. You know what might be kind of better? Rainbow Karibo. Like this and Rainbow Karibo would be very good because they're both light and darks and then uh, but we don't have a level seven dark so i don't think rainbow career would actually be too good come to think about it but you know there's level seven darks we can add we'll definitely see all right so this was one of the most not not this is probably the most boring duel i've played in a long time so let's just go ahead and just end the game i guess there's no reason to even attack with 19 because you never know what somebody might set so uh yeah um, I guess that that really was just gonna happen. You're just gonna lose. So you're just gonna lose. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Well, that was um, yeah, that was uh, that. Be right back. All right. So hopefully we do get to get a better duel than that. Let's go ahead and pick second. Because we want our opponent to... Ooh, all right. So this is really good. Oh, fuck. We just don't have the ritual. Hopefully, we can draw a gateway of chaos. But we did take out pretty much two copies of it. So maybe... Uh, man, this is a great hand. You could just super search. I really wish, like, the, the rituals are dark. But I guess. I guess they're just black luster search. I don't I don't get it. See, look. This is a light. Every Mostly every other level 8 is... Except for the rituals are a light. So that's that's pretty stupid. Magnet field. Okay, so this is this is actually very bad for me because this is um Manju. Now that was the best hand, the best card you can possibly fucking draw. That was not, that's literally the best card we can draw. And uh, I think we're going for game here, folks. Let's go ahead and start this super soldier. And we could banish the magnet. No, we can't do that. Okay. Well, I don't think this is game again. But um, actually, it might be game. It might be game. I think it may be game. It's in the light and dark. Boom. Um, if we summon this, we can search and trade in. Yeah, we can, huh? 
All right, let's do this first. Target what? One monster your opponent controls and banish it. Uh, let's just use the one from the hand. Um, what do one? I think I want to do BLS because just in case I do top deck something, we can probably win. Um, yep, and yep. Actually, we could search a Gaia the first night, correct? If I'm not mistaken, can we search a Gaia? Um, let's search Black Luster's Ritual because uh, if we do draw, actually, we can just win right now. I don't know why I even did that. This is a win because we could just Black Luster, we can just Ritual some of this. Yeah, we can, we can just do that. Yeah, we can just, yeah, that's game. So there we go, folks. That's how you win. This is why we go second. This is what the deck is meant to do. Probably should add some twin twisters and stuff like that. So we can just clear back row and whoop ass. But the, the fact is, is so, Super Soldier Origin, it requires shit in your hand. Like that, that really sucks. That really holds the deck back from just being explosive. Like super explosive that you need the cards in your hand. You can't like use Manjus or anything like that to pretty much get around it. All right, so here we go up against Fino, and we have lost the RPS, and we're going first, which really fucking sucks. Um, shit, I really don't even want to do anything too much. I think we just have to. Let's search the second gateway because we don't want to draw into it. Cause that'd be really bad. Um, we can go ahead and search. Uh, hmm. So we're going to get a free monster, and then we're going to get a ritual summon. So what I can do. It's get a free Black Lester Soldier's Search. That's what I can do. Is that the best option? Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and go for that. Let's just go balls to the wall. Fuck it. Let's go balls to the wall. Let's see what the fuck we can do with this deck, which is just amazing. Let's just go ahead and just do that. Let's see what we can do, because I feel like we can do a lot. Um, I really wanted to keep the Sphere Kariba, but it's okay. And we got two counters for that. We're going to use Guy the first night. And what we're going to do is put him on a clock and search the BLS. Because that card is just fucking amazing. And then what we're going to do is normal summon and search the other Black Lester Soldier. Known as uh, Super Soldier, which is Bucky Barnes. Uh, the Captain America sidekick. And we're going to end our field with this. And you know what? That that was pretty, pretty balls to the wall. Next turn we can possibly have game. Oh no, it's Cubics. This is this is this is bad. This is really bad, folks. See when the cubic monster just leaves the field, this shit activates. But excuse me. Thanks to my opponent, what he's going to do is uh get me a all we need to do is draw the level four and we could possibly win. Because we can play around I don't think we can play on all three. See? This is why twin twisters is needed. <clears throat> Trading is a very amazing card. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this first. So we can just definitely just thin out the deck. Get one of these Super Soldier Origins. Don't want to draw into it. Use this trade in on the, what's the name? This is why Twin Twister would be very good right here. Um, Twin Twister, bam, bam, pop these two. And be on about our business. But we have to figure out a way to play around that. But I don't think it's going to work. Oh, another trade in. So let's go ahead and do that for free. We're, we're searching for the level four. We're, we're just not going to get it, I see. We're just not going to get it. Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? We just did not get a level four. That is just stupid. Um, That is really fucking dumb how we did not get a level four just now. Well, we can summon what's the name. We can definitely do that. We could uh, we could summon BLS and banish it. But I don't think that does anything. Yeah, We're going to just do this. Like, we literally do trade in BLS. Like, what? Would you want... Oh, you know, we just... No, we had that. So, we do it twice. We do it twice. This Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Are you fucking kidding me? This does not send once per turn, does it? But this is once per turn, right? Okay. So, let's see what our opponent can do. Uh. Okay. Well, you're, forc you're forcing me, young man. You're forcing me. Universal beginning. I love this card. Let's go ahead and add the Gaia. Or uh, this one. Let's just add that one. Uh, let's send Envoy and then a... We have multiple... What is Dark Sin? This adds a ritual monster from your deck to your hand. But since we have multiple lights, that's why we have to do this. Hopefully he does not pick right. And he doesn't. Yay. 
But even if he didn't pick right, it's all right. We're going to add this back to the hand anyways. That's fine, young man. That's getting banished. So what does it say? A faced up cubic? If a face, uh, what is it? If a face up cube is destroyed by battle. Okay, face up. All right. So that's cool. We're going to use Envoy here. We're going to banish the light and we're going to banish. Oh, we can't banish that. So we don't really need to banish this, to be honest with you. But I think that we're going to. Um, this search is a ritual monster, so we, you know, we don't have to draw into it anymore. Yeah, we don't have to draw into another ritual monsters, which we really don't want to do. <clears throat> we want to get them all out of our deck. We want to get all of them out of our deck. And this is just awful. Okay, so what do one do you do? You can target one. This is a darker. You target one monster, banish it. Then I can banish one from my opponent's hand face down. Okay, well that sucks. Um, let's fucking do it. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it for free. Uh, let's summon the one from the graveyard because there's no reason to waste. What do you do? Okay. So we're definitely gonna get some things popping with that. This search is a black luster ritual. Uh, man, none of this protects damn black luster soldiers. I really wish that half this shit says. All right, so here we go. We're gonna banish you. That's good. Uh, no, there's no reason to do that. Um, let's search another one. Search by Gluster Ritual here. We activate Gateway of Chaos and search the last one, to be honest with you. I think that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to search the last, be a last. Actually, we can search the guy to Fierce Knight. I didn't, I didn't realize that. And that's actually pretty good. Because what we can do is we could uh, banish you. What do you search? Spell card? Fuck it. Let's just banish you. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't check my graveyard. i put you in defense mode. I'll put him on a clock. Yeah, fuck it. Let's use night. I don't even know we had something left. I'm guessing origin. You bitch. You son of a bitch. That is, uh, that is very hurtful. Okay, we already used this effect, so that really sucks. But can we normal something? Yeah, we can, but we're not going to do that here. Um, one and two. Google, that's going to activate. We're going to search another BLS card <laughs> because we don't already have fucking enough. Yeah, let's go. Let's just uh, let's attack into this. Let's see what we get. Let's see how far we get. This is probably going to be like a storming or something. Nope. All right, so we get to attack again, and we do sixteen hundred, which is amazing. So. We're going to do 3,200 at least. Um, at least 3,200. So that's good. This doesn't even miss timing, which is bad. Oh, man. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to be able to do this one, folks. Because he's just going to have another... Can you just activate this? Okay. Okay. So, if what's going on? Oh, okay. Okay. So what we can do, we can take it. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's take it. Let's take it just for free. Fuck it. Um, this is use you. I didn't use you. Phone's going off, but we're not going to answer. We're going to finish this duel. Uh, let's discard you, pop you. Oh, I forgot that was Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Why you just didn't use it? Um. Oh, wait. We can actually use... It. Oh, no. What was that? Oh, shit. I wanted to turn this... What's going... Why did it go back to him? I didn't know that. I didn't... I really didn't know that. Like... I don't even think we have enough to even... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we have enough to send. Okay. Yeah, we're going to just banish you, sir. This really fucking sucks. This really fucking sucks. We can't get over anything. What the fuck do you do? We can't wait. If you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. Okay. What else do we have? 
have Castell, but there's no way we can summon Castell. Um, I mean, I guess we just have to end our turn here. Can't I can't destroy it? If I destroy it, it's just gonna. I mean, it won't get destroyed. So, okay, well that's good. This turn, right? Okay, so I can pop it, and that's the end of that. What do you do? This card is in your possession to destroy. You can target up to three cubics in your graveyard. All right, so I think we can. Um, I'm gonna envoy a chaos this motherfucker. Fuck it. We're gonna gain. We, he's gonna get hit with 45. Hopefully that's uh. He could just summon these fuckers back. That sucks. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to lose here because he's going in defense mode. And if he summons any of the giant ones, you take 3,000 at the end of the turn, correct? Pretty sure you do. Um, Cubic Aura. Okay, I don't think that does anything. Does it negate effects? No, this one doesn't. And these two activate, correct? Yep, because uh, that's, just bro that's just broken. How long over here? 31 minutes. Jesus Christ. Then you could search any cubic. Okay, so that's that's just really garbage. So he has to go in main phase two. Like I said, if he summons any one of them, he's dead. Like, and then I just get um, on. But I don't think there's a yeah. He can't win unless there's some fucking cubic card that I don't know about. Unless there's some card that just negates something. I'm just I, I believe I will win here. What is this? Yeah. I, you're summoning that, but you don't. You don't. You lose. Like you, if you summon it, you lose. Am I mistaken here, folks? Is he gonna go like? I mean, even if he does go like Castell, what does that do? What do you do? Oh, you bitch! You son of a bitch! You play Ragnar Zero. Why? Why does he play Ragnar Zero, folks? What does that do? Fuck it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even know I didn't even know that second effect. I've never got it destroyed before. Why is Envoy can't be used? Um, okay. Is Envoy not in my graveyard or do I just not have a dark? I don't have a dark. That is crazy. Can't use that because it needs a light and dark. Can't use you. Can't use you. Um You know what? I'm gonna be so pissed the fuck off. Oh wait, never mind. Let's just pop you. Yeah, I don't I don't know why I even did that. <laughs> I was about to say I was gonna pop this face up and attack it face down because I knew it was gonna be that card. So do we survive? Do we win? Jesus Christ really? Oh my fuck okay, it's just no way just for me to win, huh? Everything is light. I can't even I can't ritual summon, I can't do anything. You play Swift Scarecrow. Like, for what? Why do you play Swift Scarecrow? For why? Why are you playing Swift Scarecrow? You playing all these generic cards. Okay, I really hope you die, man. I'm just going to use this effect. Yep. This is going to gain 700, so... I mean, that Cubic Karma is going to just fuck me over. Should have put this shit in defense mode, because I forgot about his Cubic Karma in his hand. Oh, no, it's Aura. Oh my god, I lose. I think I lose. Oh my god, he might he might just lose the game for him. What does it say? Add a ritual. Okay, we obviously don't have either or. Envoy. Fuck! Damn it, and then look. Look at this. Fucking Stormy Mirror Force is in my hand. Oh, does he lose? Target one cubic and one face up monster. Attack comes double... Okay, what do you do next? Okay, does this go back to? Oh damn it! Except what? Holy fuck! I think I lose. Yep, I fucking lose. Look at that. Oh wait, I stay alive. How much defense I got? Three thousand. So I have to summon it. Wait, no. If I summon it, into I still lose. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, there's nothing I can do because this motherfucker only got 2,500 defense. Oh, I still lose. Damn it! Fuck! Son of a bitch! And I lose because I didn't put this shit in fucking defense mode, man. Well, 
that's how we got to lose, folks. This is how we got to lose. That's just awful. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I had fun, even though we did lose at the end. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.